our extraterrestrial signal is 390 light years away. For context, a light year is 6 trillion miles. In humanity's quest to unravel the mysteries of the universe, we have reached a point where we can explore through time and find answers to historical questions about the structure of the universe. Without blinking, the James Webb Space Telescope has discovered formations that predate the birth of stars. These celestial bodies appear to be older than the universe, and they raise more questions than answers. How could there be structures that predate our universe? Or is the Big Bang Theory wrong? Join us as we embark on a journey based on the discoveries of the James Webb Telescope. The secrets of a 13.8 billion-year-old structure await us, and our journey to unravel the mysteries of the universe has only just begun. About 200 light-years away, in a far-off corner of the universe, lies an ancient star called HD 114283, near the constellation Libra. The star zooms through space, offering fascinating insights into its tumultuous past. About 12 billion years ago, when our own Milky Way was still in its infancy, it swallowed up the dwarf galaxy it once called home. But the most amazing thing about HD 140283 is not its speed, but its incredible age. Of all the skymen we have ever seen, he is one of the oldest named Methuselah, just like the biblical Methuselah, who is said to have lived to be 969 years old. The original age was estimated at 16 billion years, but recent estimates have lowered it to 14.46 billion years, with an error of 800 million years. This discovery has puzzled astronomers. However, the age of the universe measured by the microwave background is 13.8 billion years. This mystery raises important questions about the age of stars, the age of the universe, and even the accuracy of dating methods. Let's find out. Determining the age of celestial bodies is a real mystery. For example, let's think about stars. Like the sun, they are like eternal bulbs that maintain their brightness, warmth, and size for billions of years and are hard to age. Astronomers use the changes in brightness and color as clues and compare them with blue detectors to patterns that show how the star changes over time. The time contribution is the star's rotation speed. The star is like a wheel that spins due to friction. By comparing the rotation speeds of stars of different ages, astronomers have achieved an interesting feat called gyrotechnology. Stars reveal their secrets through magnetic messages. The flashes and bursts of energy on the surface of a star are similar to the excitement of a star's youth. As a star ages, the exposure decreases. As space observers, astronomers use advanced techniques such as astrophysics. It is as if they are listening to the inner voice of a star, the vibration of waves. These vibrations are the age of the star. For example, using this broadcast broadcasted around the world, astronomers calculated that the age of the sun is 4.58 billion years. Now let's look at the Methuselah star again. The ancient aura surrounding him was no accident. Astronomers observing the universe predicted a crazy old age. Stars can be classified by how fast they are born and how heavy they are, like iron. Our sun is slightly metallic and is a population I star. Methuselah's star, on the other hand, is an old, millennium-old, type II rocky star that pushes away low-mass objects. This constellation helps astronomers do the work of archaeologists and explain the age of celestial bodies. Consider a group of stars, theoretical population 3 that scientists believe are similar to rare Earth elements. Although these stars are still hidden in the background and have not yet been seen in telescopes, astronomers suspect that they are small, rocky stars with nothing heavy. To understand the composition of these stars, we must go back to the early days of the universe after the mighty city. Imagine a celestial kitchen filled primarily with hydrogen and helium, the basic elements of the universe, about 92% hydrogen and 8% helium. If we weigh them, we get about 75% hydrogen and 25% helium. The first actors to take the stage in this musical are the stars of Population 3. They are huge, hot, and burn their atmospheric fuels rapidly, converting hydrogen and helium into heavier elements. When these cosmic giants explode, these heavy objects are scattered over a wide area. Next are Population 2 stars, which formed much later but were still forming in the early universe. Their raw materials are heavy materials, especially light steel. Many of them went through the stellar life cycle and became supernovae, 
adding heavy materials to the cosmic mix. Eventually, Population 1 stars, including our Sun, will become descendant galaxies, gas clouds filled with the remains of previous Population 2 stars. Some of these Population 2 stars will grow to cook more parts of the world. So the big question is, does this story about stars add cosmic flavor to the Big Bang Theory? It's a mystery. But here's the thing. Based on the uncertainty, there's a 70% chance that the ancient astronaut Methuselah is between 13.66 billion and 15.36 billion years old. The lower bound is consistent with the world. And there's a 30% chance that the age of all space travelers meets international guidelines. Likewise, there's a 15% chance that it's not just slightly off but less. Think of rolling a six-sided die and hoping you don't get a six. The math makes sense, right? But regardless of the appearance of these world systems, one thing is certain. Methuselah's star is not a soldier of the world, but the grandfather of stars. We tried to give you an absolutely correct assessment. Now relax. But don't think that just because Methuselah's star is billions of years older than its neighbors, the universe should be recorded differently. What if the universe is not as small as we thought? To hold 13.8 billion years in our minds is like trying to understand the universe. If the entire history of the world were converted into a world calendar, the Big Bang would be the most amazing event of the new year, and the Father would not be with the heavenly lights until the last second of December 31st. Is the history of mankind written? Yes, it is only a short time, the last 10 seconds. Our constellations determine the age of the universe by looking at the satellites of ancient stars that were born hundreds of millions of years after the Big Bang. As the universe expands, this light undergoes a global change called redshift. Scientists have estimated the age of the universe at 13.8 billion years, taking into account the distance and expansion over many years. But wait a minute. The bottom of the world is getting thicker. The University of Ottawa whispers that the universe is 26.7 billion years old. Professor Rajendra Gupta presents an ancient theory developed in 1929 by Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky, which changes things by saying that particles of light, called photons, lose some of their energy as they travel through space and time. This idea doesn't exactly match what we see with our own eyes, but Gupta says it's a universal contradiction. He believes we can combine this theory with our understanding of the universe to come up with a hybrid explanation for the redshift phenomenon. Now buckle up. Revisioning the universe's age to 26.7 billion years is no easy feat. Gupta adds another twist to the cosmological synthesis by combining the theory of exhaustion of light with the idea of the constant growth of binary pairs, an idea from physicist Paul Dirac. This theory suggests that the shape of particles can change over time. Hello, scientists have a history of changing world clocks. In the 1920s, Edwin Hubble believed that the universe was only 2 billion years old. Since then, we have come a long way and improved world mathematics. Doubling the age of the world would be a giant leap forward in our knowledge. But he paused. This new vision became the world standard, and it is still visible among the stars. 10.5 seconds of human history are recorded in the grand scheme of things. But one thing is clear. The world is a treasure trove of ancient wonders and endless inspiration. When we turn our gaze to the celestial courtyard of the Milky Way, a celestial tango ensues. Recent measurements have shown that stars on the edge of our galaxy rotate more slowly than stars in other galaxies. How big is the world? Well, there are several theories. One explanation is that our Milky Way is devoid of dark matter an invisible blue substance that affects the dance of celestial bodies. It is a hidden treasure that we cannot see, but that seems to play a role in the circulation of the world's fury, a world puzzle involving dark things. One of the things that hinders our understanding of the world is the wrong way we see dark things. As this invisible force lurks around the world, we may need to recalibrate our celestial compasses. What we thought was dark may be the dance of scattered stars or the newly understood power of swordsmanship. 